Hello to all of my peeps. It's so good to see you here today from my chair, special edition. Special edition, I'm so excited. We're gonna do this special edition number one, okay? Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, it's the first in a, a special series of lessons. Uh, this, I'm so excited. We, she's been on before, and but it's been a minute. So this is my bestie, uh, Ms. Riz, Joanna Burt. Um, and I'm down here on some business, just doing some classroom things and all that. And uh, I, I, she is, let me give you a little bio, just a piece of really cool information. Uh, for the past 24 years, 24 years, that's a long time. <laughs> that is that's a, a long, long time. time. <laughs> she has served as the associate pastor's wife uh, at the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Valdosta, Georgia, which is where we are right now, but we're in her classroom. She's also an educator. Uh, several months ago, uh, she began teaching a Bible study, a ladies' Bible study on Monday nights, uh, once a month, once a month, and uh, several months ago. I wanted to be a part of it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I so want to be a part of this. I have to do this. Her mom, too. Her mom wanted to be a part of it. And uh, so uh, we had this, this amazing idea. About five minutes before her lesson, uh, she calls, she FaceTimes me and her mom. And uh, we get to watch and listen to her amazing ladies' Bible study uh, here in Valdosta at the Lighthouse Baptist Church. Um, and it, it leads us to what leads us to what we're doing today. Um, these lessons, they've been so helpful. Oh my goodness, they've been so helpful to me. Uh, I asked her to take one of them, one of them in particular, I'm so excited about this, and break it down for us. Uh, to a few pieces uh, for a few different lessons, and I want her to teach it to you, to all of you. Um, I, I won't interrupt. I, I, I won't. I won't. I won't. I might just a tinge, but not for comments, not for questions, nothing like that. Uh, but I'll do the intro and the exit to them. But I want all of my peeps to have the opportunity to hear what a very special group of ladies here in Valdosta, Georgia, have been listening to. Uh, for these many months that she's been holding her, her ladies' Bible study. So, without further ado, <laughs> I am very, very excited uh, to introduce my bestie to you. And let's listen with our hearts open as she teaches us something very, very special. Uh, thank you so much, and I appreciate it, Tabitha, for letting me um, to come and speak. I listen to this YouTube all the time. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do and to recommend to people. But she asked me to speak on something, and this is something that has been near and dear to my heart. And it's this is called, When God's Plans Are Different Than Mine. Boy, I cannot tell you the number of times. And maybe, maybe you can think back to that very first plan, the very first big plan that God changed that was just different. Uh, you know, it, we always, there's just this big time in your life when, when you start, you suddenly you went from your fairy tale world to realizing, oh, <laughs> things are not going to go my way all the time. And so I got to thinking about it, and I, you know, and I thought even as an adult, even, a, you know, as a, a youth pastor's wife, assistant pastor's wife, teacher in the classroom, you know, as a mom, things just don't always go the way I want them to go. And so how do I handle it? And boy, it's tough. I don't like it when things don't go my way. But, um, and I feel like I'm not alone. But as I entitled this lesson, as we, as we get started with it, When God's Plans Are Different Than Mine. I want to start in Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. The Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You know, those carefully constructed plans that we put together, um, sometimes it's just a minor distra distraction, disruption from what you were planning to do, and just, you know, you got that phone call at the last second to something as huge as hearing that cancer word. From something as simple as traffic that messed up your whole morning to a child you never get to hold. From something as simple to a stressed out morning to, you know, the, the, the egg, you know, stuck in the frying pan to you know, that diagnosis you didn't want to hear from the doctor. Our plans get changed all the time. Oh boy, did they get changed. But we have to learn, all right, God, what are you doing and why? Why are you doing it? And you know what, sometimes I may never know the exact why, but there's some whys I can know. God tells me from his word. So our, my first part of my lesson is we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about a few things of why. Why do God's plans differ than my own? 
Now, I know we all know the right answer. We know the correct answer. <laughs> but why are God's plans different than mine? Well, we just saw in those verses, the first thing is because God sees from a much higher perspective than mine. He's seeing something from an angle, from an, from an avenue that I will never see. I perhaps will never know until I get to heaven what, what, what he's got, why he's doing these things. I love the verse, Psalm 61, too. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Sometimes I need God to clear my head for just a second, <laughs> Lord. Bring me up to this rock and let, can I please just see? And you know, he, he, sometimes he so graciously does that. He shows me, okay, this is why. But you know what, I, I, I look, can't help but think and look back on my life and think, you know what, there's some plans. I'm really glad you changed. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you changed mm -hmm. that plan. Amen. I think of, you know, maybe people that were in your life that I'm thinking, oh, thank you, Lord, for removing that person or, you know, or rearranging that relationship or something like that. You know, Corey Ten Boom said that her father told her, you know, don't jump off the train in the tunnel. Just be sit, you sit still and you trust the conductor. Mm -hmm. When things get dark and things are not going the way you, you think they should, remember, God's got a perspective. He knows. He knows what you need. He knows what he knows what's going to be the best for you. What's going to help you? My second thought is not only is God's God's ways are higher than mine. He sees from a higher perspective. But that next thing is so big. God needs to keep me close to Him because oh, I so easily stray. <laughs> I so easily stray. I get oh, what's the word? Complacent. Mm so easy to be complacent when things are going great and they're all going according to my plans I get this crazy idea that maybe perhaps I know best <laughs> perhaps I can just work all this out and I you know and we never would say it we never ever would say it but do we really need God at this point wow. because it's just going great mm -hmm. it's all going according to my plan and I begin to drift and I begin to drift in Psalm 119 Psalm 119 verses 67 and 68 Oh boy, these, these verses, are so, they hit hard. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. If you skip down to 71, it is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. You know what, something, there's never something so sweet as when you've gotten spanked, that hug afterwards. Mm -hmm. I remember with my children, you know, yes, it's it's tough sometimes when you had to discipline, you had to spank, but sometimes that sweet fellowship afterwards, mm. it, there's nothing like it. And no, I did not want to get spanked by the Heavenly Father, but sometimes he knows, oh, you're getting really complacent in this relationship. That Bible reading has kind of gone to the wayside a little bit. I'm not I'm not as active in, you know, what I used to be in. I'm, I'm not as, my prayer life isn't as fervent as used to be. Mm. And all of a sudden the plan changes and... I need God. Mm. I need him now. I need wow. to pray right now. I, I, need, I, need, I need to be close to him. You know, I can't tell you the number of times a sweet fellowship in the word of God because he changed a plan. Mm. He changed something, and now, I'm, now I'm, I'm scrambling. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? So now I need him. I'm right there, and God's like, yeah, I just I needed to keep you close. Mm. I needed to shake the boat a little bit, keep you close. In Psalm 34, 18 and 19, Psalm 34, 18 and 19 says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. You know what? That, that change of plans humbles me. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I get to go in and I'm, you know, the, and the pride sneaks in. I didn't even mean for it to be there, but that pride sneaks in. Mm -hmm. That pride sneaks in, and, and then God kind of changes that plan, rearranges it, and I go, okay. Lord, you know best. I'm nothing. I'm nothing without you. Show me. And then verse 19 of that same passage, Psalm 34, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. What a, what a wonderful thought. That broken heart, that, that, that change that I didn't, I didn't want that, God. That's not what I wanted. That, that death, that sickness, that that just that change of career maybe, the change of plans, that you know, something, you know, something sometimes as simple as, you know, the car, you know, the car won't start that day. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, God, you've got a plan. You've got something. Humble me, make make me think I need to be close to you. I need to be close to you. Complacency, I wrote this down, complacency kills relationships. Mm -hmm. 
when you just go along and just and sailing along and you and you don't you forget you take everything for granted God says don't do that we should do it with our husbands we should do it with our children any anywhere but definitely not with our Heavenly Father well another thought in God wants to keep me close to him he sees the highest perspective but then ooh, ouch actions have consequences Sometimes God's plans are not my plans because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Actions have consequences. And boy, we don't like to talk about that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Numbers 32, 23, and I'll be sure your sin will find you out. Psalm 51, David's sin caused so much grief. Elimelech, we think of Elimelech and Naomi, he moves out of the will of God in, in the book of Ruth and paid dearly. Paid, paid so dearly. But let me give you a little bit of warning on this and, and just be so, so careful. It's not my job to judge why others are going through their change of circumstance. Right. It's my job to check myself out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord, is this plan not going according to my, my plans because of something I have done? It is not my job to go, oh, I wonder if Miss Edge is, you know, her plans are getting changed because she's not where she needs to be with the mm -hmm. Lord. Ooh, ouch, be careful, ladies. Oh, we, we, we love to do that. We love to look. Or we won't say it out loud there either, but in the back of our mind, tiss, tiss, tiss. What are you doing, ma'am? <laughs> and we have, that, we have that thought, but oh, beware, ladies. That's for us. That's for me. I'm to look. My plans change. Lord, is there something I've done that I should not have done? Mm -hmm. What have I done that I should not have done? You know what? God sometimes changes my plans. Sometimes it's not going to go the way I should. And sometimes I could choose to kick and scream mm. or I could choose to say Lord you've got a plan you see higher than I see yeah. get me to that rock help me to see it help me and if you're not gonna let me see it just help me to understand that you know it you've got it all figured out I also need I need God needs to keep me close to him Lord, just bring me back am I straight mm. am I not where I need to be bring me back Lord bring me back and then I need to check all oh, my actions do have consequences is, is this me is it my fault is this is this a Job moment where you're just testing me, mm. or is this a David moment where you're spanking my honey? <laughs> I like that. All right, well, which which one is it, Lord? And only and only we know. It's not my job to tell about anybody else. I can't I can't determine why so and so sister so and so at church and or whatever in the ministry is going through things. It's not my job, nor is it my job to confront her with it. Yeah. Okay, unless she's coming to me and asking, that's not my job. But it is my job to check on myself. So that, that's my first thoughts today, all right? Why are God's ways higher than mine? Why, why, why are they different than mine? Why did God do that? Well, those are maybe some, some thoughts yeah. of why. But join us next time because we're, we're going to keep delving into that because there's some more. It doesn't just have to be a why. What do I do with it? Yeah. What do well, I do with it when it changes? I love that. <laughs> and I wonder, I, I, that's probably why uh, comparing oh. is not wise. That's the scripture. You know. It, yes. it, just because you're looking at somebody else, oh, I'm not like you, you that's know, right. and, and look what you did. And that's oh where we get into trouble I because know. we're like, well, I didn't do what she did right. or I didn't do what he right. did or whatever. Why am I? Right. And you're looking at everybody reason. else instead right. of looking at yourself. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes definitely. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, my goodness. This is so yes. good. Um, uh, join us next time. Oh, we got we got a part two. Yes, we got to hear the rest two. of this stuff. <laughs> uh, and uh, look this stuff up. Look up these verses. It's so very important. Uh, to look this stuff up and and make some notes I, i'm writing notes for the second time I, it, it's so good uh but join us next week don't forget lydia at 11 in her journey to remain cancer free no go be amazing today